Hello guys and welcome back. I am coming on to work with my She's Crafty Kits and I am working with day number 10 of Christy's Beautiful Life. 30 days of sketches when she did volume 13, I believe. So this is my day 10 kit, probably my 10th kit, somewhere around that. I tried to keep them in order. Who knows? And I have a complete um, like putting kits together and all of that kind of stuff a number of videos ago if you were following along with that. So let me show you the sketch. Now keeping in mind, I print in black and white because I don't have a color printer. I'm not cool like that. So we've got a really large mat um, on a, you know, square layout, photo kind of in the center, and then circly bits coming into it. Um, title right there. Very nice. And that's from Lorraine Wilmot, if I'm pronouncing that correctly. Now I've got an interesting mix of papers to make this one work. This looks like Simple Stories. Uh, this is also Simple Stories, Summer 11 with a green gingham. I have got Paper Rose Little Adventures B, piece of limey green cardstock, some Vicky Booten stickers, lots of them, lots of Paige Evans die cuts from Bungalow Lane, and I already pulled out three of the frames because I wanna make shakers. Now other embellishments that I have. I've got a bunch of wood pieces. Great. I've got the cutest little glassine envelope bag. A few little stars. I've got some sequins going on. That's what we'll be doing shakers with and some enamel dots. So let's get into what I'm going to do before I sign off because you know how I always jump in for my homework. All right. So we've got that really large frame, right? So I'm going to go ahead and cut this blue stripe down to um, eh, what 11 by 11 and create a really skinny border with this. Now I think I'll go ahead and scuff up the edges so I have a lot of differentiation and pop that in. Perfect. Now my photo is right here. I already have one mat on it. I will go ahead and mat with other papers as it allows. So I'm going to have extra of this piece and I'll be able to punch from both sides, right? Because this will only be used for that little skinny mat. And then I will have some extra from these pieces. Now also keep in mind, I need to make lots of those circles. And I did pull a two inch punch for that. And I'm gonna grab some flare, which are circles. So I will grab some flare and um, use a few of those as circly bits. What's in my, like my, the flare I'm trying to use right now. So I've traveled, ooh, like this piece right there, that would be applicable. It is a camera. Let's see, this was a really traveling kit, so I'm not gonna have as much in this Uber travel kit. My kind of getaway, okay, let me put that one away. Let's see what's next. I have so much good flare right here. Watch the sunset, nope, just the back in my mind, not this day for this picture, that would work. These big pieces like this would work. At the beach does not work. Vacation does not work. Geotags work. So I have all kinds of them that will totally vibe. Ooh, look at that nice bright orange. That is gorgeous. And then the newest, newest, newest new flare I have. And they're all from Scrap and Hoopy Happy Studio. Like here, oh, look at that limey green, guys. All right, I'm totally using those too. I was like, oh my gosh. Hello there. So guys, these are just going to work. The story, see all of those great looking typewriters? Oh, and then we've got limey greeny again. All right, I'm going to keep this on my desk. Definitely know I'm going to use these two up. Um, so those will be more circular bits. It'll be great. I've got the Vicky Booten stickers. We're going to work lots of that in. And I've got all of these flare that I need to, not flare, wood veneer that I need to spend some time um, with some of my inks and decorating them up. So for my photo, this is my son and his fiance, and this was their last day in their first house. They bought a new house and yep, they just had finished cleaning up and they had their kitties and they were moving to the other house. So super cute moment for them. So that's what I have. I'm going to get my background put together, punch out circles, map my photo, all of that, and I'll meet you right so back I've got some nice traction. I did do the outside piece, and now in our sketch, we have got the circly bits coming from every direction, but I'm kind of thinking of all of these pieces that I punched out 
that it might be kind of fun. And I know I just don't pay attention enough to sketches. I know, I know people. It would be kind of fun to just build up all of these circles. I think, I think I want to do that. So I have, I don't even have a lot of paper as things go guys because I used a lot. Um, am I saying that right? Because I didn't even start with a lot. That's a better way to put it. So what if I go ahead and I just start lining these pretty things up? I think I want more of these hearts. They're so cute. I've got options with these pieces, but these little um, curl colorful, one, two, three, four, five, I have five. These colorful hearts, I think, are my ticket. So I have one, one, two, three, four. I would like one more green. And then if I scuff up these little circles, I think it would be super cute and they're nice and nice and nice and full. Okay, guys, my scraps from this are literally just itty bitty bits. So super great there. Now, I did do these shakers. So I have good morning and that's not super relevant. So I could have a piece kind of coming like this, right? Because why use something? I want to use a shaker, but I want to make sure whatever I do is kind of relevant. So let's do this. Now we've got lots of patterns going on. I think I'll scuff up the edges of these two. So I'm going to hide some of that pattern because I know it's just, it's a lot. So in this situation where I have that stripe right next to that other stripe, this is where I would bring it down and just separate it a little tiny bit. So we've got our shakers in there. We've got roughly three bazillion patterns. Not a problem. We're still going to put in some smaller circles with uh, flair from Scrap and Happy Studio. And guys, I've got these cute little pieces to put in as well. I need to come up with a title. Um, guys, there, there's just so many elements that I want to add. Oh, that would be cute. Guys, this cute little glassine bag, which could do a nice pop of color, but you can still see behind it. You see where I'm going with this. So I'm going to work on it for a while. I've got lots of scuffing to do. I need to um, get flare on there. Then I'm going to decorate with these little bits. And if I don't even know if I'm going to need to, but I've got all of these bits as well. I really don't think I'm going to need a whole lot from here because my pattern paper, they, it's just like doing the job. But let me scuff up. Let me get all the things on there and I'll meet you right back here. So guys, I have all of the papers are attached down. The wood veneer I just have placed. My flare, I think are like somehow the perfect colors. Love that. Now I'm going to go through. I really don't think I need these, um, these ephemera pieces, but, oh, home's not a bad thing because it was their previous home. It was their home that day. That was the last day they were in their home. Look at, is that like a shibu thing? Happiness and sunshine. So cute crafted make happiness look at that circle I might have enough patterns though I don't know handmade with love hello look at the little parakeet you guys I'm sure I'm saying it wrong it's probably not a parakeet don't come at me people this is our happy place guys that would be so good for their new house it's like <laughs> this was put a little cross on it that's kind of funny my goodness how funny that I have all that home stuff not going to be able to use that though but Oh, wait, why do I have this sticky thing? Let's get rid of that. Cozy, simple, happy. Today I will make. I didn't think I'd really need these things. Made with love. A fabulous cup of joe. Simple things. Oh, a kitty. And they're holding kitties. Okay, so using this beautiful little calico. Peaceful day. Admit one. Okay. I'm using home. That is such a good piece and this sweet little kitty. And I'm going to go ahead and put all of these wood veneer on. I know it's overkill, but I like it. Um, do I have any little letters? Let me see if I have any little ones left from other things. Hold on. 
Hold on, I'm looking. I don't think I do. Oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what I have? I have this. And in here, there are little tile stickers. Um, Do I do old home? First home? Old, I don't know. What do we put? Old home? Old home? I think old home because they, this was the, like I told you guys, the day that they had just finished cleaning their old house to move to their new house. So they're like, bye house. So I think that would be a cute way to do that. And this is a sticker book from my previous layout. I love doing that, like grabbing little bits and pieces and I can put old right here. Um, and go ahead and put old right there. I, you know, I think I'll scuff the little bits up a little bit. How fun is that, guys? It is so fun. Okay, little bit of foam there. And I'm going to do a little bit of scuffing. I think for this, I'll just grab a little emery board because it's going to be hard to really get in there. You know, like if I do it with scissors or something like that. And it scuffs up very nicely. So I'll be able to do that. I'm going to pop a couple of these pieces on, a couple of enamel dots, guys. I'll come back and show you the very finished layout. Okay, guys. So I think I have plenty on here. I put four of the boys because they refer to the kitties as the boys. And they moved to this house that has this big bay window that the boys just love. It's so cute. So all I'm going to do now to finish this off, because I think kind of have plenty. I have some Vicky Booten stickers that I put on here in the meantime. Didn't want it stuck all the way down. Um, I have my old home here. It's popped up. Is there anything else to tell you? I don't think so. Oh, I have sweet, simple things here and happy looks good on you. So super cute. Not going to use my little stars because I figure we have plenty of circles. I'm just going to put some of these enamel dots along this uh, diagonal guys and then I am done with this very full layout. I am beyond stoked that it came together from this fun sketch idea. So that's what I have guys. I'm going to have still shots to follow and I will see you guys ever so soon with another video. But guys look at all the layers and layers and layers and layers of fun. All right that's what I have guys. See you for now.